guys, this is DocM with another Minecraft video and today this is episode 24 of DocM77's Minecraft World Tour and yep, today we're gonna have another update on the station guys. I was building here for hours and thinking and planning and redoing and laying out and now it works. The only thing I have to do now um, down there, I don't know if you can see it through all the redstone hell, but the track sections below there, that's already the setup for the arrival and departure line and um, already one line is hooked up to it, namely the one leading back there and it's working so far, I tested it and I came up with a new feature as well. I was thinking about, uh, well, how can I use uh, the Mies switches for a, uh, for a good set up and something and well that's what I came up with and this is my Mies switch switcher and also um, minecart call functionality thingy <laughs> uh, basically the thing has two functionalities you know the Mies now I showed it in one of my previous videos and also a tutorial how you can build one and basically the thing has two functionalities now first of all um, each of these stations, re um, minecarts, represents a station we can pick or destination. So right now I only got three. That's just because of space issues. You could hook up more, um, go around here and stuff. Um, the only limitation is you need to be able to reach your minecart. Um, you want to hop in and this one is going to be around here. So we can reach it easily. And there's another functionality to that thing. Um, it calls the cart from the uh, door pass dispenser over here and also um, as I told you you can select your destinations down there um, so let's see a demonstration we got the pass dispenser over here um, hop in I don't know let's pick random pick that one in the middle system is activated car gets boosted up waiting for you now what happens if you say like, oh my god, no, wrong card, I don't want to go here. I don't want to go to the another destination. Well, easy. Nothing happens. No card is boosted. Um, you can hop through the thingies as often as you want. The track down will still switch, but no car will come up and uh, destroy your system. So I got a safety implementation in here I want to demonstrate to you later. But as I found out, you actually don't even need it. For some reason, you can hop into the car and hop through the cars. Uh, in my setup, it works. And it doesn't activate the booster again because maybe it's too quick. I don't know. So, well, actually, I think it is because the pressure plate here is still pressed before you uh, arrive in that one. So... That might be the reason, I'm not quite sure. So let's test it out. Um, right now the destination selection doesn't work. We only got one destination and that's our uh, first line here which is leading back to the spawning pad. So I hop into my minecart. This booster here gets activated. This is a compact booster again. We go down. This is the track selection. First turn leads us through the tunnel and up we go. And we're inside the tunnel. We got some lash lag issues here. <laughs> Stupid but true. Right here there's a chunk border. That's the place where I grew my grass up there, my grass. And it took so long to grow. It's <laughs> yeah, the chunk border is around here and I always get a lag when I come out. But as you saw, the thing worked. I got another minecart from testing back here. And we arrive at our spawning pet station here. Mm -hmm. And I need a head station back here. Um, I'm gonna think of a cool design but it needs to be easy and it will be very easy because basically we arrive here with the car the car needs to be stored we need to be able to hop in and go back and when you go back um, let's see the arrival line isn't not quite finished because I don't know how fast the cars will return here and it depends how much momentum they have so if I need uh, or if I have to need uh, add some more boosters, you know, we come down here. So I think the car will get a lot of from mo a lot of momentum. Then we go up this little slope, come around and get redirected um, up. 
back on the track we just came from and all the way up here and then we go back to the uh, arrival I showed you last time I think I got another block uh, minecart with me so then we come back in here and we arrive and we wanna yeah, get rid of the car so we hop over system is activated again worked there you go car gets stored in the pest dispenser no problem at all um, the, the booster is ready to be used again so everything works we can call a car we can take the ride off and we can select destination at least the setup is there now I'll have to l have a look at the floor look this is one of my safety measures um, a pressure plate and the reset for that thing is down there so we need to have a look at the redstone wiring now mm. the flaw uh, I was talking um, about right now is the car comes up here and gets boosted and lands on here this car needs to be pushed off this pressure plate and then return on the um, position but it seems not to work um, because it's getting not enough kickback but I think I can change that thing here anyway. I had some issues getting the car um, boosted around this corner and up here. But as you saw before, it has a lot of momentum. Um, because of this, this issue, I think the system is not resetting properly. Let's test it. Yep, see? Now you should be able to pick another minecart and it didn't work because of this problem here. And I'm going to show you why this is a problem. Okay, let's look from up here. Over here, this is the setup for the arrival. It's an isolated circuit, um, nothing interferes, interferes with that. Here, we got the three me switches, the lines go down. One, two, three. So let's go down and see what happens with them. There we are, those are the lines coming down and you see I've got them going down here. They go down um, I haven't hooked them up, but they're ready to be hooked up to the track switcher here. It's going to need a pretty complicated setup with two RS knowledges and a third, uh, the third selection is going to reset the whole thing. But yeah, I'm going to show you this next time when I'm finished with it. For now, we're going to concentrate on what's happening up here. So the signals from the selection comes down and this is the card, uh, call a card functionality. So we come around. This is the first contact. This is the second, and from back here we get the third. So all three signals from the Mies, booster, uh, Mies cards up there are um, yeah, combined in this one si uh, signal here. So it's an X or X or or nor X or yeah latch basically um, when one of those inputs uh, gets activated, this to the the thing will trigger. So it doesn't matter if all three are pushed or one or whatnot, the thing will activate. That's what we want. So this block does exactly this. We got all the lines coming in. Then we go over here and arrive at a end gate. So that's the first functionality. We could hook that up directly into our door booster, but then we would have no safety feature. And that's where this end gate comes in. So this is the safety feature. Over here we got the pressure plate with the issue we were talking just uh, about now. So this uh, pressure plate is supposed to reset this RS knowledge and set the RS knowledge. So I need a torch. Let's put some light up there. Um, reset the thing by hand. Did it work? I guess so. No. Okay, and let's reset it over here. This is the reset. So now it's reset it didn't work because the car didn't move back so it, it's working I changed the, the booster design up there and uh, yeah, that's a flaw okay so what's happening right now this car up there sits on the pressure plate um, that means the, uh, the RS knowledge here is set and activates the output 
and opens one side of the end gate. So that means this end gate, whenever a signal arrives from the right side here, this thing can always trigger. So, now, a car comes by the re reset and that happens when I call a car, then this RS knowledge is uh, triggered, this church tur turns on and no more cars can be called. That's the safety feature uh, we got in there. And when we get boosted and get out of the station, there's a reset plate. Um, I'm going to show you real quick um, in a minute. And the reset plate is going to uh, reset the RS knowledge and the end gate is back in this state we have here, ready to uh, receive an order to get a car. So now the output from this end gate um, is going all the way down. I had some space issues, I had to do some multi-layer redstone and we come up here. And what's that thing here? Well, to activate a door pass dispenser you most definitely need a rapid pulse generator. And that's that thing here. It's an uh, idea of Minecraft Addict, uh, like the whole design of the pest dispenser thingy with the door. So when a signal gets triggered, when, and that can only be hap happening when this add gate is ready to receive action, so system is ready, you see it, this torch is out. A signal comes, end gate triggers, sends a signal over here, and the signal is split. And because of the setup, um, it's just it's done like this, we, you got the repeater and you got the shorter way this way and the signal is merged here again and this uh, creates a very very short pulse, very very short, so only one car drops down from the door pass dispenser. You need it, it's in, in the design, it, it's like that. You can't do it different, if you have it diff in a different way more cars will fall down and your whole system won't work. Now we have another look at the reset plate I was talking about. Let's go down. That's over here. You know, over there, there's the departure. And we come down here on, on our way to the switching area here. And when we come by here, there's that car sitting on that pressure plate. It gets pushed off, comes back, and resets the RS knowledge so it's ready to receive a signal. And that's the functionality for the station. Looks complicated, it is. <laughs> But, um, if you think about it a little bit, um, it's done and it's basically it is done. You know, hooking up the track selection here, that's totally basic. I can basically do a one-to-one co -one copy of Minecraft Addict's ideas for the buttons. Um, I'm going to provide links to that video. This is a video series where he does the departure and arrival and I'm, I'm plainly going to copy his design one-to-one -one, um, and going to integrate it in my yeah, space uh, situation down here so I need to have it on two layers or something. I can't use his design exactly the same but the idea uh, I got from him it's very very cool setup actually. So I think that's it for today. It's station day. Yeah we're down here. I uh, have to check out this area and finish it and we're gonna do the head station back there and I want to quickly say something guys. In case you wondered I was building this whole thing here to get to the snowy biome. Well, for all those guys wondering why didn't he go there, what's wrong, and yeah. Just wait for update 1.5 guys. I was uh, suspecting um, that uh, weather will come back. I really was expecting it, you know, I thought weather will come back for sure and there will be snow again. And uh, I checked out just recently, uh, Notch released a video, I'm going to provide a link to that one as well, where he shows that weather is coming back, snow and water can freeze over again. So guys, be patient a bit, wait for the update 1.5, it might be out even next week, if I'm right, if I heard the, if the rumors are correct, but it seems to be confirmed. And then we're going to have rain and snow in the game, and lightning and thunder and all that, and that's going to be epic because then working in the snow really will be exciting. You know, because right now, if I lose one of the snow layers, the whole area is yeah, basically not looking cool anymore. So, guys, I think that's it for today. And sooner or later we're going to conquer the snowy biome, but we got plenty of stuff to do. We need to hook that thing up uh, to a transportation system for the breach and all that. So, a lot of work. I hope you like my idea for the new station setup. I hope you like the video. 
That's it for today. I'm out. Bye-bye.